Hello, everyone. This is our lecture for April 16th. And I know it's kind of hard to just read this. It's sloppy, like usual for me. And we're going to talk, start talking about the moon. I love the moon. You know, everybody, I mean, no one hates the moon, all right? I mean, every, in astronomy, actually, aside from Earth, the moon is the second most well-known thing, maybe. I mean, the sun, of course. But everybody knows the moon well. So what we're going to talk about today is the delay in moonrise and the phases of the moon. Delay in moonrise and the phase of the moon. I'm going to get a little more light on, if I can, because uh, it's getting a little dark here. So if I can, yeah, so I'm going to get a little bit more, more light. Uh, so today, delay in moonrise and the phase of the moon. But before we talk about this, I, I want to ask you a question here. What time did the sun rise today? Now, I kind of cheated and looked it up. And it's, uh, anybody have any guesses? About 6.50. Actually, 6.51, the sun rose today. What time is the sun going to set today? Any guesses? I looked it up. Cheated on that one, too. 7.36. So if the sun rose today at about 6.51 and set at 7.36, what about tomorrow? Is the sun going to rise later or earlier? Aren't the days getting longer now? So guess what? Sunrise tomorrow is probably be a little earlier, probably about 6.50 instead of 6.51. What about sunset? What do you think? Aren't the days getting a little bit longer? Yeah, the sunset tomorrow is going to be about 7.37 instead of 7.36, about a minute. Change about a minute a day. Now, here's a harder question. What time did the moon rise today? Any guesses? Anybody see the moon rise? Anybody actually get outside your home today? I, yeah, I didn't. But I'll tell you this, that the moon rose today at 2.33. That's when it rose. Anybody see the moon rise? No? I mean, it's kind of hard. I didn't see the moon. Uh, what about what, is the, what time is the moon going to set today? Well, it already set today. It set today at 4.23 in the morning. And it's not, and it's it's up now. It rose at 2:33, and it's gonna, uh, it's up now. It's gonna set probably tomorrow at about 5:10 a.m. So it's harder to figure out for the moon. Now you don't see the moon that much. I mean, the sun. Everybody kind of has an idea of the sun, and the sun rises and sets uh, within about a, a minute of the previous day. So it's hard to kind of. It's easy to know about when the sun is gonna rise and set. The moon is a little harder. And also, it changes quite a bit. Not only is it hard to see the moon, but it also changes quite a bit each each day. It's not it's not within a minute a, a minute change. It's going to be longer than that, and we're going to talk about that right now. So, in order to do that, what I first want to do is draw the Earth. You should draw the Earth too. This is going to help you for exam exam four. It's going to be a lot of moon stuff. So, I'm going to put the Earth here, looking down at the North Pole. So we're looking down at the North Pole of the Earth. We're going to call this Earth. And let's talk about first times on the Earth. Let's, talk, let's get some sun rays coming in. Let's say the sun is way over here. Let's say here is the sun, far away, far away. Here are rays from the sun, all right? Imagine these are rays from the sun. So it turns out that half of the Earth is going to be lit up, and half is going to be dark. So let's show where it's dark. Here it is dark. And the Earth rotates. Viewing from north, let's say we're looking down at north, there's the North Pole. The Earth is going to spin. The Earth rotates, we'll write this down, rotates all the way around, spins around once, 360 degrees in 20, 24 hours. So the Earth rotates once per day, 360 degrees in 24 hours, or in other words, uh, that is about 15 degrees per hour. You don't have to know that. The Earth rotates 15 degrees an hour. So now let's look at some times here. If you were standing right here and the sun is as high up as it gets for you, that's noon. Six hours later, you have a quarter of the Earth's rotation. You're standing here, and it's approximately 6 p.m. Six hours later, you're right in the middle of the night, right? The, the sun's not even up for you. And that is midnight. Midnight. 
And six hours later, the sun's going to be rising, and that's approximately 6 a.m. So I'd like you to write this down, but also the times too. If the sun's coming from this direction, sunlight, here's noon, 6 p.m. on the earth, midnight on the earth, 6 a.m. on the earth. So the earth carries you around, and your time is pretty much based on where the sun is. If the sun's as high as it gets for you, it's noon. If the sun's setting, it's approximately 6 p.m. I know it's different depending on the season, depending on your latitude on earth, but we're pretending we're at the equator here. If the sun is below your feet, as far down as it gets, it's midnight. If you're in the middle of the night, and when the sun's rising, it's about 6 a.m. Now, let's add the moon into the picture. I'm going to put the moon right here. Now, in reality, I've scrunched this up. I mean, in reality, if the, if the Earth were the size of a basketball, the moon would be the size. This is kind of neat. This is, this is actually, but this thing about this. Remember I said baseball is, I mean, and basketball. Basketball is important, too. Don't get me wrong. I love basketball. I'm pretty upset now that there's uh, no basketball, and I'm, I'm really upset there's no baseball, and, and there's really not much to do except this. So, man, that's pretty upsetting. But if the Earth's the size of a basketball, the moon would be exactly the size of a baseball. Think about that. If the Earth's the size of a basketball, a normal-sized basketball, the moon's the size of a baseball. So it's showing you that basketball and actually baseball, we talked about this. As far as in the universe, they're very important. So it's the same scale. But here's the, here's the interesting thing. If the Earth's the size of a basketball and the moon's the size of a baseball, on the scale, they would be 30 feet apart. 30 feet. So I've scrunched everything together here just to, to get everything on the sheet. So let's say here's moon. There's moon right there. Now, if the moon is in the same direction as the sun from our point of view, that would be called a new moon. We're going to go over the phases pretty soon. So there would be a new moon. And isn't it true that the moon goes around the Earth? So the moon orbits around the Earth. How long does it take the moon to go around the Earth once? You know the answer to this. It is called one moon. But no one says one moon. You know why? Because an O has been taken out of moon and it's been changed to month. One month. Approximately 30 days for the moon to go around the Earth. So doesn't the moon orbit, sorry about this, orbit 360 degrees in 30 days. So we said the Earth rotated 360 degrees in 24 hours, or about 15 degrees an hour. But the moon takes longer. I mean, the Earth rotates, and the moon doesn't, it hasn't gone that much around the Earth. The moon takes a whole month, a whole month, month, to go around the Earth, about 30 days. So the moon orbits 360 degrees, in 30 days, and if you take 360 divided by 30, isn't that the same as taking 36 divided by 3? The moon orbits 12 degrees per day around Earth. So you don't have to remember that. You don't have to remember the Earth rotating 15 degrees an hour, the moon orbiting 12 degrees a day around the Earth. But here's, what it's coming, here's where we're coming to. If the moon were a new moon and you were on the Earth, which you are, when the new moon rises, it would be about 6 a.m. The moon would come up when the sun comes up. So a new moon, which you wouldn't see it at all because it's in the direction of the sun, will rise at approximately when the sun comes up and let's say that's 6 a.m. But the next day, the moon's not going to be there. The moon is going to be 12 degrees more in its orbit uh, around the Earth. So when you're expecting the moon to rise at 6 a.m. the next day, it's not going to be rising. You would have to wait for the Earth to rotate about 12 degrees. And 12, if, if, it, if you had to wait 15 degrees, it would take an hour. But 12 degrees is 12 fifteenths of an hour, which is 48 minutes. But why remember 48 when you can remember 50? So the, what I'd like you to remember, I'm going to put it in a different color here just so to show you it's very important. The moon will rise and also set approximately 50 minutes later each day. That's what I want you to get out of all this. 
You see the 50 here? Write that down. The moon will rise 50 minutes later each day and set 50 minutes later each day. If the moon rises at 2, uh, rose at 2.30 today, you know what time it means it's going to rise tomorrow? You add 50 minutes onto that? Uh, 3.20, 3.20 p.m. And the next day you add 50 minutes onto that, which would be, what, 4, uh, 4.10 p.m. And if it sets, uh, let's say if it, if it um, set this morning at like 4, what do we say, I don't know, 4.30 or something, well, uh, it's going to set tomorrow at about 5.20. I think I said 5.10, but about 5.20. So 50 minutes later each day, you just add 50 minutes. If I told you the moon rises at 5, 10 p.m. today, you had 50 minutes, 6 p.m. tomorrow, right? 6.50 the next day. That's what I want you to remember, the 50 minutes. All right, so now, and I'm going to show you some, uh, for the next class, I'm going to show you some slides, some PowerPoint slides that will help, help with all this. But now, let's talk about phases of the moon. Phases is why you see different, like the moon at different shapes. We already talked about phases of Venus when we're talking about Galileo observing different phases of Venus. So let's talk about phases of the moon. So let's title this, well, we'll title it this. Phases, sorry, I know it's hard for you to see that. Phases, P-H-A-S-E-S, -S, of the moon. I'd like to talk to you about why things go through phases, why you see a different shape, so why you see different parts lit up. We're going to make the same diagram, and this is the diagram you're going to have on exam four. So it's going to be good to practice this diagram. I'm going to show the Earth right here. And we're going to call this, same kind of thing as we just did before. Let's call it Earth. Again, Earth rotating like this. And let's kind of, I'm going to shade, I'm going to make it dark over here on Earth, kind of like looking down from north. So we're always going to be looking down from north. Put an N right there to show you the North Pole. Let's put the rays of the sun coming from this direction. So these, if you want to write down what these mean, it means the sun's somewhere over here. So we're going to call these rays uh, from the sun. From sun, which means sunlight. I mean, the sun's over here. Light from the sun's coming in this way, which is why the Earth's lit up over here. Now, the first phase I want you to write down is this. I want you to put a moon, and I want you to put the moon right about here. Right there. See the moon right there? Call it moon. But I want you to show this. Draw a line half and half. And I want you to make this side dark. Like that. See that? Make that side dark. Why are we making this dark? Huh. Because the sunlight's hitting this side. This side's the night side. There's the day side. So now, what I want to talk about is what this moon's called. We mentioned it before. It is called a new moon. New. That might be hard for you to see that. Let me write it with a different green. New. A new moon, which is also called zero days old. It's the beginning of the cycle, the lunar cycle. A new moon is zero days old. So write that down. Now, how, what, a, what would a new moon look like? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what a new moon would look like. Well, first of all, if you were on the Earth, let's say anywhere pretty much, and you looked at the moon, you're going to see one side of it here, you're going to see the other side of it there, and notice what side you're seeing. Isn't it all the dark part of the moon? So you know how a new moon would look? I'm going to, I'm going to draw it right over here. How would a new moon look? What I'm going to show you is this. If you're viewing it from Earth, now this is looking at from space, where you see half lit up and half dark. Half dark. You're not going to look, see it from Earth, because on Earth you're having a different perspective. So our perspective that we're seeing on this paper is not the perspective you get on Earth. You're going to see from the Earth, you're going to see the, the whole dark side towards you. You're not going to see it at all. But from space, you might see half lit up and half dark. So the view from Earth, I'm going to write down here. I'm going to write in parentheses, kind of like a parentheses here. How are you going to see it? Shade it all in. Here's what you're viewing from Earth. You don't see it at all, especially if you're looking in the direction of the sun. You're going to have blue sky. You're going to have to squint because uh, you're looking kind of towards the sun. Do not look at the sun. You're not going to see a new moon at all. And I'll show you some slides of this next time, what a new moon looks like. So there's a new moon. Wouldn't see it all zero days old. But remember, if you wait a day later, even it's only new actually for an instant. Only for a second is it new. Because a minute later, it's moved a little bit. And the day later, it's 12 degrees over. 
and two days later it's 24 degrees over, and three days later it's 36 degrees over. I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend we've waited three days and see where the moon is three days later. Because remember, it takes 30 days to go all the way around. So three days later, I'm gonna put the moon right over here. And still, here's what I'd like you to do: shade it like this. See that? Half and half. The same looks like just just like this. But on Earth, now take a look at this. Here's what's interesting. On Earth, you're going to look at one side. It'll be pretty dark. You're going to look at the other side, and which, you know what you're going to get? You're going to see a little bit of it lit up. It's going to look like a broken off fingernail. If you break, I don't want it. No, I'm not going to break off my fingernail now. Uh, but if you look at it, here's how it's, it, it, here's how it's going to look. I'm going to put in parentheses how it's going to look. And it's going to look like this. You're going to see like a sliver of it on this side lit up. The rest of it's dark. Like this, kind of like that. So it's going to be dark over here, but you're going to see kind of like a, a, a I don't know, like, like that. You're going to see a sliver of it. You know what that's called? What phase? Well, this was a new moon. That's not a new moon anymore. Actually, it hasn't been new even an instant later. It's not new. It's called a crescent. Let me show you with a darker pen to write this down. Crescent. C-R-E-S-C-E-N-T. A crescent moon. And because we waited three days here, we're going to call this a three-day-old moon. A one-day-old moon would also be a crescent. A two-day-old moon would be a crescent. Even a one-hour-old moon would be a crescent. So that instant after new, it's crescent all the way, but we're just kind of pinpointing uh, a certain phase, a three-day-old. We're just putting a three-day-old in because it's just it's too cramped to put in a one-day-old and a two-day-old. So we're just putting a three-day-old uh, moon here, a, cre a crescent. Look like that from Earth. So in parentheses is how it looks like from Earth. From space, they're always going to look the same. All right? You see that? From space, always the same. But a view from Earth is what I'm putting in parentheses. Now, have you ever noticed this? You looked at the moon when it's crescent like this, and this you'll see like right after sunset. Right after sunset, if there happens to be a uh, three-year-old crescent moon, the best time to see is right after sunset because you'll see it as it's getting dark. You'll see the lit up part, which is you're looking at a little bit of the day side, but you ever notice that you can see where it's dark there? That phenomenon is called something. And I'm going to show you in a slide. It, 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 me just talking about it is not very exciting, but I'm going to show you in a slide next time. It's called Earthshine because you know what happens? is light from the sun strikes Earth, light reflects off the Earth, and illuminates where it's dark on the moon. Just like, isn't it true, like when you go out in like full moonlight or close to full moonlight, can't you see the ground on the Earth walking around? Well, if you were on the moon at this point, right over here, you would look up and you would see an almost full Earth. And you'd say, whoa, yeah, the Earth is bright tonight. It's so bright, I can walk around, I don't even need a flashlight, because this light is reflecting off of the Earth and illuminating the moon. Just like when it's a full moon, light from the sun reflects off of the moon and illuminates the Earth. Same kind of idea. And the phase of the Earth is always opposite as the phase of the moon, and we'll talk about that later. So there's a crescent. Now, let's move on. Let's go to a four-day-old moon. Can you guess what that would be? Crescent, too. But you're seeing more and more of it lit up. And five-day-old moon, crescent. Six-day-old moon, crescent. Now, about a 7.3-day-old moon, I'm going to put over here, one quarter of the way around, it is going to be, well, let's first do this. Remember, lit up over here, dark over there. But now, from standing on the earth, what you're going to notice is this. On the right side, or the left side, it's going to be dark. On the right side, it's going to be lit up. So the view from earth, I'm going to put in parentheses here. You know what it's going to look like? Well, kind of like that. It's going to be dark over here and light over here. If this day-night line, which is called the Terminator, is perfectly straight, you see over here it was kind of bent? That's a crescent. It's kind of curved. But when it's perfectly straight, it's called something. And also because it's a quarter of the way around, you see how it's, it's one quarter, 90 degrees away around the Earth? You know what this is called? A first quarter moon, first quarter, and a first quarter moon happens to be about 7.3 days old. Just remember about seven, about a week, just a little bit over a week, that's good enough. So there's your first quarter moon. 
And there's, oh, again, how it looks from Earth, and the parentheses are the view from Earth. Now, it's only first quarter for about a, for a second. Let's just say a minute. Let's, let's say this. Okay, it's only really new for like a minute. It's only a first quarter for a minute. A minute later, it's not first quarter. A day later, it's not. Two days, three days. I'm going to put it three days later over here. Three days after this. Still make this dark over here. And also, we'll make that lit up. But now, look at this. From the Earth. You know what you're going to do? You look up at it. You see one side. I mean, a lot of it's lit up. You see, but you're looking at this side, and there's going to be a little bit that's dark over here. So the view from Earth. I'm going to put in parentheses here. How is it going to look from Earth? It's going to look like this. See a little bit dark over here? But mostly lit up there. Some people in the past have said this is kind of like a bowed out or pregnant moon. Because it's kind of like bowed out that way. It's not like this, but it's kind of bowed out even more. The word for that is gibbous. Gibbous moon. That's a gibbous. And this one happens to be, if this is, well, if this is about 7.3 days, and let's add about three, maybe a little bit more, wouldn't this be about 11 days old? So an 11-day-old moon would be a gibbous. See that? Because like a new moon, zero days, all of this, all of this is crescent. All right, all of this, from new moon to first quarter, is all crescent. Now, it turns out from first quarter all the way here is going to be gibbous. This happens to be an 11-day-old gibbous. A 10-day-old uh, moon would be a gibbous. A nine-day-old moon, an eight-day-old moon would be a gibbous. Only in about 7.3 days would be a first quarter. But then you have all crescent in here and all gibbous here. So there's a gibbous moon. Now, uh, let's go a little bit more. Let's go at about, you know, four more days or so. About four more days. Just maybe slightly under. We'll call it about four more days. The moon will be right here. And take a look, this is kind of interesting. Still shade it like this. View from above. You see all the views from above are the same. Only the views from Earth are changing. And I wish we could do this in the classroom. I could really show you why this is. But, you know, you can take this. You can do this. We'll go home, take a lampshade off of a lamp, have the light bulb, take a ball, uh, take out any ball, ping pong ball, baseball, anything. And then uh, what you can do is just hold the ball towards the lamp and then kind of like, kind of start moving it around you, and you'll see different parts lit up. You can do the phases on your own. This is what we would be doing in the class uh, in a couple weeks, if, or when you're, by the time you're re-watching this video, we'd be, doing, we'd be doing that on that same day. Now, but look at this. Do you see it's opposite the sun? The sun's in this direction. This moon's in this direction, which means if you're standing here looking up at the moon, you have the whole lit up side facing you. So how would it look? It would be all lit up. What do we call that? That's a full moon. This is full. And we're going to say this, I mean, in reality, I don't know, we can call it 14.6 days old, uh, a 14.6 day old moon. If you say 15, 14.6, 14, 14 uh, you don't have to worry about that. But I would like you to know, look, it's all gibbous in here. It's all crescent in here. It's new for a minute. It's first quarter for a minute. It's full for just a minute. The odds of seeing a true full moon when you only have like a minute is, is rare. You're probably just seeing a gibbous moon when, you look, when it looks full to you. So there's the full moon, only for a minute. But what about this? Now take a look. Do you notice that you see as the days goes on from new moon to full, you see more and more of the moon each day. First, you don't see it at all. Then you start seeing crescent, more and more crescent lit up. Then you see a first quarter moon, right? There's how it would look from Earth. Then you have a gibbous moon where you're seeing like you, you're seeing it more and more lit up. That's called something. It's called waxing. I'm going to write this down. You're not going to have to know about this, so don't worry about that. So those are called waxing phases. Waxing phases are from new to full. From new to full are the waxing phases. Now, I'm not going to test you on that. I'd like you to know more about what is it, a new moon, crescent, first quarter, and so on. So, you know, waxing. But I do want to say, if someone says there's a waxing moon gibbous, just know it's somewhere in here. If it's a waxing crescent, it's somewhere in here, all right? 
That's all. Just, just, just know that. I'm not going to test you on that, but I would like you to, if someone mentions it, I would like you to kind of understand what that means. It means you see more and more of the moon each day waxing, more and more of the moon each day, and that's from new to full. Well, now, after full, guess what's going to happen? It's going to start kind of, it's, well, it's still in its orbit, but instead of like moving like in its orbit, like away from the sun, the direction of the sun, it's going to start moving in towards the direction of the sun. So what about a day later? It's not full anymore. It's actually give us. Two days later, give us. Let's put three days after that. Let's say it's about 18 days old. Let's call this about 18 days old. And let's still shade it like this. Shade it like that. And same kind of thing as we did, we're doing to all of these. But now, but look at this. Watch. From our view from Earth, we look up and the left side. Now, let me do this a little better. We look to the left, or to the right side. Right side's a little dark. Left side's all, it's kind of lit up. So what we're going to see from Earth is something like this. It's going to be very similar to that, but the only difference is going to be a little dark here on the right side. Left side's going to be uh, lit up, if you imagine being a person here looking that way. So it's going to be something like this. It's still a gibbous. It would actually be called a waning gibbous, but we're, you don't have to worry about that. Just call this a gibbous. And this is about, let's say, 18 days old. 18 days old, give us. All right? Now, look at this. About maybe three days after that, eh, maybe four days. Let's put the moon right here. Eh, about, let's call it about 20, yeah, 22 day old moon, something like that, very close. We're going to put the moon right here. Kind of opposite there. Take a look. Still shade that side. Right? So that should look like that, which should look like that. But the view from Earth is going to be like this. You're going to look up, and the right side is going to be dark, but the left side is going to be lit up. It's kind of like this, but opposite. You're going to have a moon in there, and a view from Earth is going to be something like this. It's going to be something like that, if you're looking from Earth. Isn't that kind of look like this? Isn't it, but the opposite? Isn't this three-quarters of the way around? So you know what they call this? They call this moon. It's a third or last quarter. Third or last quarter. And because it's three-quarters of the way around. Now, a full moon is kind of like, hey, what about a second quarter? They don't do that. They just say a full moon. But they do call this a third or last quarter, and this happens to be about... 22 days old. 22 days old. Now, so look at this. Look what we've done here. New moon for a minute. We have about a week, over a week of crescent. First quarter moon for about a minute. We have over a week of gibbous. Now, these are all waxing. Now, full moon for a minute. A week of gibbous again. This would be called waning. It's kind of like a mirror right here. Imagine a mirror, a mirror, mirror, sorry. A mirror right there. Flip everything over and it's the same. Gibbous, gibbous. Crescent, it's all going to be crescent here. So a minute after third or last quarter, you're going to have a moon that's going to be crescent. But I'm not going to put the moon there. I'm going to say like three days after that just to get some space here. Here's a moon. Let's shade it like we've been shading it. A view from very far above so looking the same. But being a person on the earth looking up. You're going to see it mostly dark, but you're going to see a sliver of it illuminated on the left side there, right? So how would that moon look? That moon would look like, like this. Dark over here. I don't know if you can even see this. Here, let me make it bigger. Uh, this, How would this moon look? I'm going to put it in parentheses right here. Make it bigger, kind of like that. So you see what this is very similar to? It's very similar to this crescent. However, it's lit up on the other side because all of this from new, and then it's going to be three days later or so, or four days is going to be back to new. All of this is going to be called, not waxing, but waning. Waning phases. And this should be waxing phases instead of waxing phase. Waning phases is from full to new, where you see less and less of the moon each day. So you see, you're going to actually view from Earth, you're going to get, it's going to be less and less of the moon visible each day.
day, and those are the landing phases. And this right over here, we're going to call this uh, this moon. If I have some room in here, let's this kind of this. I'm going to just put it right over there. That moon is going to be a crescent. A crescent again. Sorry, it's off the page there. Crescent, crescent. And this is going to be something like a 26-day-old moon. Because when you get back to about 29 and a half, 29 and a half days, well, guess what? It's going to be new again. That's when the cycle starts again. So those are phases of the moon. That's good enough for now. That's a lot of material. But this diagram is great to know. For the next test, not well, the exam four, not for another month or so, I'm going to give you this diagram. I'm going to label, like put a one here. I'm going to put a two here, three here. I might, I might put the one here. Who knows where I put it? But I'm going to say, oh, what do we call phase one? And if phase one is this, it's the first quarter. I might have a phase two right here. I say, hey, what is that? Full moon. So you're going to need to know this diagram for actually the next uh, homework, homework nine, and you're going to have to know it very well for exam four. So that's it. Thanks for joining. We will talk to you next time.